let us discuss some problems related to real numbers problem number 1 find hcf or gcd of 1155 and 506 by euclid's division lemma we will follow the following steps 1 1 5 5 5 is greater than 506 so let us divide 1 1 5 5 y 5 0 6 is 10 that is 2 Five minus two three, five minus one four, one minus zero one. Since remainder is not equal to zero, so take this remainder as a new divisor, and again divide five zero six by one forty three. So three times three three ja nine four three ja twelve carry one three one ja three plus one four. Now subtract sixteen minus nine seven nine minus two seven. Again, the remainder is not equal to zero. So take take this remainder as a new divisor and divide one forty three by seventy seven. So one time seventy seven minus thirteen minus seven six thirteen minus seven six. Again, the remainder is not equal to zero. So take this remainder as new divisor. Again, divide seventy-seven by sixty-six. That is one time sixty-six. Remainder is eleven. Again, divide sixty-six by eleven. That is six. And the remainder is zero. so this new divisor is the required hcf this is called long division method then we write a step by a step this is called euclid's algorithm a step 1 this 115 One one five five can be written as five zero six multiply two plus remainder one four three. Again, a step two. This five zero six. Can be written as one forty three multiply three a plus seventy seven. A step three. This one forty three can be written as seventy seven multiply one a plus sixty six. A step four. This seventy-seven can be written as sixty-six multiplied one plus eleven. A step five. This sixty-six can be written as eleven into six plus zero. 
So the required SCF is 11. So we have followed Euclid's division lemma as A is equal to BQ plus R. Hence, we find out the SCF of our GCD of given two numbers. Now take another question. Question number two. Find HCF and LCF of HCF and LCM of 12, 15, 21 by prime factorization method. First, we will find the prime factors of 12. So, first prime number is 2. So, divide 12 by 2, that is 6, 2, 3, 3, 1. So, prime factorization of 12 can be written as 2 into 2 into 3. This can be written as 2 raised to the power 2 into 3. Similarly, prime factorization of 15 can be written as 3 into 5 or 5 into 3. 21 can be written as 3 into 7 or 7 into 3. The common factors in all these three numbers is called HCF highest common factor that is 3, 3, 3 which is common in all these three numbers. So this is HCF of these three numbers. Now LCM. First write HCF then multiply by all remaining factors that is 2 raised to the power 2 into 5 into 7. This is 3 into 2 square 4, 5 to 20, 140. That is 420, which is required LCM. Now let us See whether number 6545 is divisible by 7 or not. So, divisibility. Rule of 7. It says that Double the last digit and subtract from the remaining number if the result is 0 or divisible by 7 then given number will be divisible by 7. So double the last digit. So double of 5, that is 5 into 2, 10. Subtract from the remaining number. Subtract from the remaining number, that is 6, 5, 4 minus 10 which is equal to 6, 44. Uh, still it is a larger number. So again double the last digit. Double the last number or digit. That is 4 into 2, 8. 
subtract from the remaining number. Subtract from from the remaining number. That is 64 minus 8. That is 56. Since this 56 is divisible by 7, so the given number 6545 is also divisible by 7. Now, divisibility rule of 13. Question number 4. Is 3, 234 is divisible by 13. This rule says that make 4 times the last digit and add in the remaining number. If the result is divisible by 13, then the number will be divisible by 13. So make 4 times of last digit. 4 times of last digit. That is 4 into 4 equal to 16. Add in the remaining number. That is 23 up plus 16, which is equal to 39. This 39 is divisible by 13. So the given number 234 is also divisible by 30. Now take problem number 5. Prove that 2 plus root 3 is an irrational number. To prove such type of question, we will follow the method of contradiction. We have to prove 2 plus root 3 is an irrational number. Let it be a rational number. Let 2 plus root 3 is a rational number. If it is a rational number, then it can be represented in the form of p by q. So 2 plus root 3 is equal to p by q, where p and q are integers or co-prime integers. And Q is not equal to 0. This can be written as P by Q minus 2 is equal to root 3. Now left hand side P by Q is a rational number. 2 is also a rational number. So, when we subtract a rational number from a rational number, it is a rational number. The right hand side, root 3, as we proved earlier, it is an 
irrational number. So LHS is a rational number, but RHS is an irrational number. A rational number cannot be equal to an irrational number. Therefore, our supposition is wrong. Hence, 2 plus root 3 is an irrational number. So, by practicing more and more, you will feel better and better. Thank you.